as artillery shells exploded all around him, Theodore Roosevelt Jr. knew he had a problem. The vanguard of the attack on Nazi Germany, which Roosevelt was leading, had come ashore far from where it was supposed to, far from its target. Roosevelt's soldiers were under heavy fire and panicking. Roosevelt was 56. He was the oldest man on Normandy Beach that day. He walked with a cane and was battling a heart condition. But he just ignored the bullets and the shrapnel. He drew his pistol and he went off to find his target. A half hour later, he returns to his panicking troops. And he says, don't worry. I found the target. I know where we are. We can launch the war from right here. Each regiment that came ashore was greeted, yes, by enemy artillery fire, but also by Roosevelt, who was totally calm, who would recite poetry and slap them on the back and tell jokes and tell them, the enemy's right there, there's our goal, we're gonna go and launch the attack from right here. It's an approach to life that the Stoic Emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius would have appreciated. If the cucumber is bitter, cast it aside, he said. If there are brambles in your path, just step around. You don't have to say, whoa, whoa is me, why did this happen? So have you washed up on shore battered and far from your original target? Are you thinking, I don't have the skills to do this or I'm too old? That's okay. We can only, as Roosevelt knew, start from exactly where we are. So wherever you've washed up, take a moment to get your bearings, check in to see what's in line with your character and virtue, and start the war from right where you are.